Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a way, um, an easy solution to add color to your batch file. Um, multiple colors, so there's a lot of tutorials out there that um, do multiple colors, but they're never really any uh, any good. So, they're, they're good tutorials, but they're very, they're, it's too long of a process just to get colors in your batch file. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using um, this thing right here and we're going to be using um, these color codes um, here so if I run this uh, test uh, testing colors it'll show all your colors in here right and then more color testing uh, I'll be showing you guys on in a second so Basically, these are your color codes. So, 30M is black, 31M is red, etc. Um, so, what this is doing is it's calling the escape, but mine, it's using this. So, you don't actually have to create. So, this is a lot more simple to do. Um, so, basically, um, I didn't. I got this idea off of a person. His name is, or her. His name is MLO Caddy this person right here um, I found this I was looking around I found this and I combined it with this and some other things as well so yeah there you go pretty neat you could do a lot of things with it um, so let's get just to using it what you guys want to do is I'm gonna leave this in the description basically what you can do with it is um, open it and well actually you know it's gonna look weird I don't know how it's gonna look um, I literally have no clue how this is gonna look it, it just looks like that it's just a box but uh, basically then next what you're gonna do is you're gonna call your echo so you want to make your text and then you want to call this and then you want to call this delete the bracket on the end unless you want to do two like that to reset it but I'll show you guys what I mean so let's go pick a color um we could do let's just do a very let's do a bright red so 91 so then we put 91 M on it then you put your text so um testing testing or let's just put Hello world okay and then you want to put 0 M at the end but if you guys don't want to do that I'll show you guys what happens when you don't do that uh, let me just go ahead and open up test and there you go so your text is gonna be red right um, and then basically to get this to be the default color you have to reset it by putting um, another one of these right here and then putting the 0 M at the end and then it should reset it if I'm right yep there you go so now it has hello world and then you guys can go ahead and do multiple colors so you could do something like that and then you could say you could do what's this do um, blue so that's 94 M. You can say hello world two, and then you guys can go ahead and go back into here and do it again. So more color testing, and bam, you're gonna have hello world, hello world two. Uh, you guys can remove the space if you want. But basically, all your color codes are gonna be here, and I'll probably uh, create my own little color code chart to help you guys so I'll probably just put the color code chart that I'll make after this after recording this so like I said we'll go back into here now we have hello world hello world 2 and basically what you can do is you can do endless things so you could probably do echo and then you can have a lot of text so if you want to have a big bulk of text then you do this and we're just gonna put a dot okay we paste this in and then we put our color and let's just do, um, what should I do? 
Let's do green. So that's 42 M. And then you can create your text. So say, yo, what's up? How's it going? Echo. Good. And then you can do echo. And then you basically, to remove it, you put this again. But then you put 0 M. And then we run this. And now it's going to say, oh, shoot. That was a foreground color. Well, I haven't gone over that yet, so this would be a good time to go over it. You can do the background colors, right? Which will look like that. So it'll do it'll do like I said a big chunk of text, so you don't have to keep doing that line over and over. It'll do a big chunk and it'll put it as green background. Um, so then if we go back to here, um, we can go into this and we can pick out uh, some text that we want. So. We've gone over the backgrounds, so this is going to be, actually, I'm just going to remove all this text, and then make it say hello world multiple times. Okay, I'm just not going to do that then. So, as you see, now we're going to have multiple hello worlds, green background text. Um, I don't know why it created an extra space there because we're oh that's why because we don't actually need to create a space if you're going to do that because it's going to just create one because you're putting nothing in the slot so there you go then what you guys can do is you can do underlines right so the bold one doesn't really work it doesn't really show up well it only shows up good on the normal foreground instead of the bright because most of the people are gonna use a bright, but um, bold as you see, and then underlined. So we could do underline text, which I'll show next. Echo, and then we use this, and we say something along the lines of, let's just do a nice yellow 93M, or let's just not do yellow. Let's do orange orange is 33 right 33m oh shoot um so to do extra things like that so you do hello world to do extra parts um okay i'm, I'm sounding so dumb here basically you could shoot you could get a color right um I'll show you guys more color testing it says it's gonna be orange or like a goldish color hello world um, if you guys want to go ahead and make it do a underline basically this is a lot easier uh, you take the 4m right and you put the 4 and then you put um, that the little symbol there because what this will do is it'll basically do the underline and then it'll do this and then you don't have to put the M because the M is being described here uh, like I said let me run this again more color testing there you go it's gonna be underlined hello world um, uh, pretty straightforward then you could do something like something along the lines of like this If you want to do a background, so let's say you want to do a background color. Let's say we want to do a white background color, right? We can pick ourselves 47M or 47, and then we have to pick our color that we want. So we're going to do white and then red text, which is 91M. So the 91M, and you say, um, hello world. And then you just pick this again, 0M, just to reset it. And then test, bam. So as you see, it's going to be a white background with red text. And like I said, you can go, It's the capabilities are infinite. This video is getting kind of lengthy now. Um, so basically, I hope this helped you guys a lot. Because I know there are so many tutorials out there on YouTube. And I just want to go ahead and help out 
with this nice little tutorial I thought so basically possibilities are endless uh, and it works a lot more efficient your code looks a lot more cleaner than um, this so this this code here is not as clean either because it's like I said it's using these escapes um, which is like kind of the same thing as these so but these are like the easier version so to make your code less less harsh and more simple um so yeah hopefully this uh hopefully this helped out guys um really hope it did um like i said possibilities are endless the only thing is you, you can't do is change like the text size and all that but yeah peace out guys